The Donald Trump you should know is enigmatic, truculent, sophomoric, jejune, puerile, belligerent, combative, disjointed, a seemingly endless font of non sequiturs, brilliant, targeted, poignant, absolutely vicious, incredibly sentient, sapient, targeted, everything you can imagine, everything you can imagine and more, good, bad, so-so, enigmatic, sui generis, one of a kind, like nothing else, non-parel, there is no one else. I would venture to say you don't know anyone in your life. Forget politics. Forget the political hustings. You will never know anybody like him ever. And that's the problem. That's the problem. Let me welcome you this day. Let me also ask you please to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell so you're notified always of, of new uh, videos and, and live streams. Let me also ask you to remember our great sponsor, MyPillow.com. MyPillow.com, if you use, if you use, if you, if you use the promo code Lionel, you will receive a free gift. That's right. A gift that is free versus a gift that you pay for, which makes no sense. It's tautological. I know. But nonetheless, it is worth your time. And right now, there is clearance sale after clearance sale. And one of the things you must look at, look at the veritable, the, the endless volumes of slippers and, and, and footwear for you to luxuriate in and on and with. MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel. Buy every item there, every one, and use promo code Lionel. And I'll thank you for that. I have been concomitantly, simultaneously, the worst detractor, the worst um, opponent, and the biggest, sometimes seemingly sycophantic bootlicker and lickspittle when it comes to Donald Trump, there is. Period. And the reason why is because he is protean. He shifts. He goes from one thing to another. And just when you figured it out, just when you think you figured him out, just when you say, okay, I've got it, he changes. And every time he does something different, you say now what you said in 2015, 2016, you can't do this, and he won. You can't say this, and he won. You can't act like this. You can't tweet this. You can't be Donald Trump. And the electorate said, Yes, you can. But the issue, the issue is going to be, have times changed? Is this 2016? Is this a different time? Is that it? Was there just something so strange then? Were the, the satellites aligned, or the satellites, the, the planets aligned in such a way? Was Mercury in retrograde that allowed this particular truculence, this, this petulance and impudence, this impertinent Donald Trump to be elevated to the status of, of superstar? Is that it? Is that how it works? I don't know. You tell me. How does this work? How does this work? Because the more you, the more you analyze this, the more complicated it gets. It's like quicksand. The more you try to dig yourself out, the more you find yourself in this, this vortex, this miasma, this, this, this mess. It's fascinating. And then you say, but is Ron DeSantis different? Is Ron DeSantis different? Is this pro-DeSantis momentum, is it truly because Ron DeSantis is great? Or is it an anti-Trump movement? Ron DeSantis does not in any way possess anything remotely exciting. Now, I'm not necessarily suggesting that you have to be exciting to be a president. It helps tremendously but I'm not suggesting you do. What I am suggesting, and what's, what I am saying is that when that first, and there will be one, that first debate happens, and, and, and I don't know the number, and Trump has not always been great in debates, but when he's been on, there's nothing like it. 
He does things that only Trump can do. He says things that only Trump can say. He, he does things that, frankly, we have never seen before in the history of American politics. There was a time when there was a certain degree of, I, I, I'll, I'll say it's style and panache, and we thought Jimmy Carter was some rube, some rusticator, some, some hayseed, some podunk, barnyard uh, phoebe from Plains, the peanut farmer and that demented family of his, like Billy. Now he got Hunter, but he had Billy. And Billy seems like Edward Witten compared to Hunter Biden, but I digress. But there was this time when we, we thought the presidents acted in a particular way. We thought that they were, they, they just did these things. They acted in these ways. They comported. And we always say, Trump doesn't do that. Let me ask you this question. Does the American public care? But the real question is, will this traverse, will this break the blood-brain barrier? Look, let's face it, and let's stop pretending. Joe Biden is not going to be the 2024 nominee. It's going to be Gavin Newsom. It's not going to be Carmelita Harris as VP. It'll probably be, from what I'm hearing, Gretchen Whitmer. And Okay, whatever. You're not going to see them ever go towards this daft, goofy, uh, experimental, dimwit experiment again. That's not going to happen. And for the Democrats to win, they're going to have to deal both with this woke, demented kind of a policy and add some kind of, I don't know, worldview. But that's for the Democrats. But when it comes to, to Trump, if by the, by the greatest stretch of the imagination, Donald Trump somehow gets the nomination... Will he be able to poach voters from the left, grab and convince the undecideds and the, the uh, independent voters? Keep in mind something. I made a couple of uh, notations here. In 1975, when uh, Democrats were vying for who their nominee would be, Humphrey was at 30% at one particular point. George Wallace, Wallace was at 20 with Jimmy Carter pulling less than five points. George Wallace. With Curtis LeMay as his running mate in one instance. In 2008, Hillary was at 48 points. Obama, 21. And interestingly enough, I found this interesting. In 2007, Rudy Giuliani was at 24 points with John McCain at 17. So these numbers historically mean nothing. These numbers mean nothing, but they really mean nothing if you don't understand Donald Trump. He is a breed, he is a, a type, a, a phenom, he is, a, he is a, a phenotype, a political version that we don't know. We've never seen before. And when you try to apply the usual rudiments of stock, rote, uh, usual, academic, dare I say, hoary, H-O-A-R-Y, and used, concretized labeling to Donald Trump, you lose every single time. Be not mistaken. You have to understand Donald Trump. You have to understand him. Don't, don't, don't agree. Don't, don't countenance. Don't disagree. Don't reject. Don't accept. Don't love. Don't hate. Just understand him. Like you would, dare I say, a breed of dog. Like you would understand a particular behavior pattern. Think of it as, as a as cephological ethology, the, the study of animal behavior slash solidus politics. Think about this. I know Trump. I know what he's capable of doing. It doesn't mean I agree with it, but in terms of the personality type, in terms of the actual person, the politician, and what he can do, and how he can exact, how he can inspire absolute almost demented idolatry praise this this cult like 
magnetism that he possesses. People who will watch him do a two-hour, note-free, extemporaneous rally viewed by people who waited 24 hours just to see him, just to touch the hem of his cloak. Good luck trying to pigeonhole him. Good luck trying to, to draw any kind of comparison. What? Who comes close? Reagan? I don't think so. Bill Clinton? Don't make me laugh. I know what you're thinking, John Tyler, but that's another story. All right, dear friends, thank you for this. Thank you for letting me into your head. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alarm bell so you're always notified of live streams and new videos. And don't forget our sponsor, MyPillow.com, promo code Lionel, or MyPillow.com slash Lionel. Buy everything they have and use promo code Lionel. And now it's time for you to comment as you see fit.